This is Ty from evads.com and today we're going to review the Duracell Power Pack 450. This Duracell Power Pack packs a powerful 450 watts and has an on button right here. And you'll hear a click, well, one of the relays will click when it's on. And it comes with two AC outlets. Here you can power any household device, portable electronics, power TVs, laptops. DVD players and you know even charge other remote battery packs that need to be on the go such as your you know, cell phones or whatnot. And on the left side here we have a DC outlet and there's also a USB device. This DC outlet can power other AC uh, devices such as AC power adapters for laptops or small netbooks. And the USB plug here again you you probably power anything ranging from cell phones to GPS devices uh, that are USB uh, powered. To the left of the Duracell power pack, we have a flashlight that comes with it, and it comes out pretty bright, as you can see. The switch on the bottom, and right below it are the jump start uh, power negative for the jumper cables, and we'll show those in a second, which are these cables right here. And on the other side, we have a nifty air compressor that wraps around and folds neatly. And it can charge up to, uh, or it can add air to your tire up to 150 psi. And on the back side is where you charge the Duracell Power Pack 450. If you look at the back, you really got to look good, but it's pretty simple to find. It's right there. And once you plug that in, again, it charges. The Duracell Power Pack 450 also has status messages on it. This left button, when it's left on, when this power pack is left unplugged for over 15 minutes, it'll give you a status message if you push it down. Battery is full. Now, if you turn the device on and you're going to jump start your car, it gives instructions on the right button. To jump start, connect the right clip to the vehicle's positive battery. On the left side, there's uh, more status messages. Estimated run time is one hour or more. And now I'm going to demonstrate plugging different devices into each plug on this Duracell Power Pack 450. Here on the DC out, we'll have a radar detector. And on the USB port down here, we're going to use an iPhone charge. And we're not going to use the jumper cables right now, but you know, basically, I'm going to plug it in the bottom right here. And you don't have to be any cautious or anything about this because there is a safety feature built into this device where if a positive and a negative ground plug into each other, it uh, shuts off. And here we have a netbook we're going to plug into the AC outlet. And we have all these devices running on it. iPhone, little netbook, radar detector. You could probably pump up a tire at the same time if you want. And if we turn it off, it'll all stop charging. And now we're gonna charge the Duracell Power Pack 450. Usually for a full charge, takes about one to two days. If you look on the back side here, on the very top right side, there's the plug to charge this device. Plug it in. You hear a click noise of the relay. Charging is started. And charging is started. And here we'll be testing out the Duracell Power Pack 450 air compressor. Turn the unit on.
tires are at 32 PSI. I'm gonna fill them up to 40 just to show you that it works. We have 40 PSI. And now we're going to demonstrate the jump starting capacity of the Duracell Power Pack 450. To jump start, connect the red clip to the vehicle's positive battery terminal. Connect the black clip to the vehicle's engine block. Start the engine. And that concludes our Duracell Power Pack 450 review. You can check out our blog at www.ebats.com forward slash blog.